we haven't started our, our tasting just yet, but don't worry, we are in the Pappy Warehouse. So just stay tuned for that. But Joe, U.S. whiskey sales have been on the rise the past five years, and they are showing absolutely no signs of slowing down. Bourbon and whiskey sales, they jumped 7 and 22 percent respectively last year. And that's according to International Wines and Spirits record. And companies like privately held Pappy Van Winkle maker Sazerac, they're betting big. It's literally a giant guessing game. <laughs> so... Um, but it's it's fine. I mean, we can if things start to slow down, we can actually decelerate the investment program. But right now, we're set for to invest a billion dollars in the next ten years. And it's not just Sazerac getting a boost from Bourbon. Public Diageo and Jack Daniels maker Brown Foreman are benefiting too, with both of those stocks up about forty percent year to date, and that's thanks to the Bourbon boom. Within American whiskeys, if you're at the premium end, you're doing the best. And where Brown Foreman is positioned is at the premium end of American whiskey. So we are right with the trends right now. Brown Foreman's investing $45 million to modernize its facilities and $50 million to build a distillery and visitor center. But with the youngest bottle taking years to age, the question among analysts is, is can they produce enough to meet the demand while it's still on trend? Now, Joe, I have a bottle here of... Um, this is a two-hander. Uh, Pappy Van Winkle. This is 20 years old. You could uh, probably buy this for about up to five grand. Um, we're actually in the Pappy facility, the warehouse where they age these. I'm standing around about a billion dollars worth of bourbon wow. right here. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.